welcome back to my channel today I am back to you guys with another new video in today's video it's just gonna be another what I eat in a day on this day in particular I was very much focused on trying to get in protein so I've been doing pretty good with my weight loss but I haven't been doing that great with hitting my protein goals so I'm really trying to be more focused on that and plan my meal based on those protein macros so Today was really just like my first day of trying that out. At this point in my weight loss journey, I am officially down 22.4 pounds. I'm excited because I feel like at this point, I'm finally able to get myself back into a routine and really start working out more and also just being more mindful of what I'm eating. You guys know my main thing is really just focusing more on making my own food and eating somewhat clean, but also um, at this point, I'm just really trying to make sure I'm giving myself enough protein to support myself through the rest of my weight loss journey so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and jump into today's video and show you guys what i ate today all right so the first thing i'm gonna have today is going to be a strawberry matcha and it's actually going to be a protein matcha so i'm going to start by preparing my matcha powder i'm using the one by vital proteins i don't really like it it doesn't even really give me a kick but i have this large container of it so we're going to use it i'm just going to mix that up with some hot water and my little frother thing and just get that nice and blended and make sure that matcha powder is dissolved then we're going to start building our protein matcha so i'm starting off with this uh, strawberry skinny syrup I should have added the milk here but I was only half awake so I added the matcha and then I made mud but it's okay it ended up working out in the end so I'm just gonna mix this up right here and then I'm going to add in my milk which today is gonna be a strawberry premier protein this is gonna make my matcha have 30 grams of protein in this one beverage which I really need since I'm not really eating anything this morning so I'm going to add in my reusable ice cubes here and we are all set and this is breakfast. So now let's move on to my lunch. So I'm using these uh, pre-cooked chicken strips to make a Southwest wrap. That's just what I call it. I don't, I don't really know what it is. It's just something I make when I have a bunch of random ingredients in my refrigerator. So I am going to start off by defrosting this pre-cooked chicken and then preparing my avocado because I want like a smashed avocado on the bottom. So I'm taking half of an avocado, mashing this up, and then I'm just going to add in um, some salt and some pepper and that's gonna be it for the avocado and by the time I finished this the chicken was already defrosted and I was able to go ahead and start building my wrap now what I put on this varies depending on what I have in my refrigerator for the week so it's usually different every single time but to build the base I'm just starting off with that smashed avocado on the bottom like so, a nice generous portion here because I love me some avocado. I'm actually gonna even have some more uh, for dinner, but we'll get to that. Next, I'm adding some spinach because I had this in the refrigerator and it was like nearing end of life, so I really needed to use it. And then I'm just gonna stack the chicken on top as well. I had some diced tomato in here, so yep, throwing that on there too because we need to use that up. And then I'm just gonna add some of my fat-free cheese on once I'm done adding the cheese, I'm just going to top everything off with a little bit of chipotle mayo that I had on hand. It's a little bit spicy, um, but it's really good. I really like it. If you don't have this, you could just make like a avocado aioli or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the finished product. A nice generous portion of meat in there and it is very filling, low carb and high protein. Now let's move on to dinner. So I'm gonna start by chopping some veggies. You guys know I am absolutely terrible at this, so I won't make you watch too much more of it. But I'm starting off chopping up a red onion. I'm putting this into one of my little uh, Tupperware containers because this is gonna last me the rest of the week. I'm not about to use all this uh, red onion tonight. I'm gonna do the same thing for my jalapenos. We're gonna be using this as well. What we're making tonight is actually gonna be a taco bowl with ground turkey and we're gonna use some of these veggies to season up that ground turkey because y'all know she needs a little bit of help okay whatever I don't use of course you know I'll use another day but I went ahead and chopped up what I had 
now let's get started on this ground turkey so this is the kind that i'm using i'm using my cast iron skillet just because i feel like it does an amazing job uh browning meat this ground turkey is looking a little hopeless but stay with me we gonna get there um i'm just gonna cook this until it's brown all the way through once it's brown all the way through i'm going to start to add in my veggies so the onions we chopped earlier as well as some of the jalapenos and then i'm just going to give that a good stir to sweat that out and wait on some of that moisture to absorb out of that ground turkey Now from there, I'm gonna start seasoning. So I'm using these uh, Fiesta blend baked beans or whatever. They have a nice sauce on them. This is my first time using it, but I figured it would be good to have beans that come in a sauce with this just because ground turkey can be a little dry and lifeless. So yeah, this is what we use to spruce it up. Um, these are actually pretty good by the way. It was my first time having them, but they were delicious. Um, but next I'm just seasoning it up, taco seasoning, garlic powder, I think a little chili powder right here. And then I'm going to go in with some ground jalapeno just to further bring out that jalapeno flavor and give it a little bit of a kick. Once that's all done, I'm just gonna stir that real good and then our ground turkey will be ready. Now, you gotta taste that ground turkey while you're seasoning it to make sure it's all good, okay? Season to taste. Now, I'm just over here heating up this corn. Normally, I use frozen, but they were out, so I have to use the canned roasted corn. Not too much here, just a little oil in a pan along with the, cor the drained corn and a little salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna heat this up and it's good to go. It doesn't take a whole lot for this um, canned corn, but I do love it. <laughs> all right so now we're gonna make a lazy girl guac that's what i like to call it because i'm really not doing anything extra here just a little smashed avocado some lime juice and then this is my cheat code right here this little guacamole seasoning pack you can find these in the produce section at Publix. Just drop some of that in there and smash the avocado. And then I was like, oh, I got tomatoes. So I threw some of those in there as well. But that was pretty much it for the guac. Um, this is just my lazy girl way of making it. Didn't really add too much. But now that that's ready, we can go ahead and start building this bowl. So I'm using this pre-cooked basmati rice. I'm going to warn y'all, I don't eat this much of a portion like I don't know what I was thinking. I guess since I was recording, I was trying to make it pretty and put a whole lot of stuff in this bowl. But please know I don't eat all of this in one sitting. Now I'm just going to add some of that corn we made earlier. I'm going to add the guac that we made earlier and some greens. Uh, this is just some chopped romaine lettuce to make it a little healthier and give me some leafy greens. Um, but yeah, I'm going to add some roasted salsa as well, some light sour cream, and top it off with a little cilantro. And that is pretty much dinner, guys. And this really concludes what I ate for this day in particular. I did forget to film my outro, so we're just going to go ahead and end the video right here once I show you how delicious this taco bowl looks. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.